Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We've already shuffled the deck so let's cut it and get right into your reading Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance for the end of February, beginning of March. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay. Your first card here is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic uh, attraction here. Second card is true love and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. So, okay. What they're saying here is uh, for those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, um, what they're saying here is that for the remaining of the month of February going into the beginning of March, uh, there's going to be a need to spice up the relationship or uh, to really put effort to keep the flames going, um, whether it be lack of sex, whether it be lack of passion in the relationship itself. Uh, there is a need for uh, both partners to really put effort and energy into maintaining that connection. Now, when I see chemistry, it usually indicates that there's lack of, um, depending on the cards that follow. But what they're saying here, we have right at the center, true love. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, uh, those of you guys that are currently single, uh, you need to be careful when it comes to choosing a partner um, because you can almost co like coming into embracing your sexuality and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I feel that you're, you could be experiencing like wanting to experience your sexuality um, but not in a positive aspect, more so uh, jumping into relationships that are sexual and expecting something genuine to come from it. Uh, so again, when you're dealing with partnerships, uh, Taurus, if you're wanting or looking for something long term, um, just make sure that you get to know the person. Give each other the time to genuinely get to know one another. Chemistry is very important and chemistry is not just on a physical aspect, meaning, um, you know, physical attraction towards each other. But is there really do you guys really share commonalities? Do you guys genuinely share interest or are you guys very contrast like the sun and the moon? Uh, so that plays a very important role in your partnerships. Uh, now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, like I said, I feel that um, for some of you guys, you may be in a partnership um, where there's not true, genuine, or authentic feelings. Um, and this could be something that, you know, like an example, if you've been in a relationship for the past 10 years, it's almost like the passion or the desire to be with one another has weathered. Uh, whatever your reasoning behind being in that partnership, what they're telling you here is if you don't feel satisfied in the present or if you don't feel like this person is meeting your um, emotional needs, whatever that may mean to you, uh, there's nothing wrong with desiring or wanting or craving true authentic, genuine love. You are deserving of this Taurus. So again, uh, even for those of you guys that are single out there, do not settle for something that is very temporary, expecting long-term results. Um, loving yourself and understanding that sometimes it's worth the wait. You know, the struggle uh, whatever it is in life, the struggle is beautiful. And the reason behind that is because it shows us and it makes us appreciate uh, when we have it good. So again, don't rush into relationships, Taurus. Uh, those of you guys that are currently single, don't rush into a relationship. It You will understand why they're telling you be patient when it comes to partnerships, especially if um, you've been single for quite a while. Don't 
you know, focus all your energy or don't make yourself purposely sad, feeling like you won't find true love. Because they're telling you here in the present what's unfolding, what's coming towards you is true love. Uh, and this is a deep connection. And what they're telling you is worth waiting for. Divine timing is very important at the present time work. Um, divine timing is at work in your love life. So again, don't rush into partnerships. For those of you guys that uh, have been single for quite a while and perhaps you are currently dealing with someone, um, you know, chemistry, like I said, th th what they're showing me here is that uh, the physical aspect could be ideal, right? It's like when they say the packaging is great. Um, but is there really a genuine connection? Uh, is this person coming and going? Uh, are they hot and cold? If that's the case and you're just getting to know them, what can you possibly expect down the road? What can you expect in the future? If you already just in the beginning stages, this person is already showing you that they're not someone to rely or depend on so again uh take those messages uh for what they are i hope they help you and again like i said uh for those of you guys that have or are currently in a long-term committed relationship passion is something that is going to be very important uh important for the month of march um so again put the effort you know and and if you have been putting the effort and your partner's the one that's been lacking energy or effort in wanting to uh, keep the flame ignited. Um, again, we go back to questioning, is it, is it, are you there because it's comfortable? Are you there because you guys have been married for a very long time? Is there a genuine connection here? And if the answer to that is no, um, do not force yourself to uh, be tight or bound to someone uh, where there's lack of love, especially in partnerships. What's the point of being in a relationship if you still feel alone, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity and we'll see each other soon. Bye.